Perhaps the boldest of Jesus' statements were aimed towards the religious leaders of his day. Leaders that we could rightly call ignorant and impotent. And in our text today, Jesus launches several of them into the air, leaving us to do something with them. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In John chapter 7, verse 28, it says this, He who sent me is true, and you do not know him. To the ignorant in the crowds, he says, You don't know the Father. It was this statement that would lead to a spontaneous movement of the people to try and capture Jesus and arrest him. But they couldn't because it wasn't Jesus' divinely appointed time to be captured. He would be turned over to the authorities, but not now, and not one second before God had planned it. To the impotent, John chapter 7, verse 34 says, You will seek me, and you will not find me. Because of all the pandemonium, the Pharisees decided that they had better step in. So they sent officers to arrest Jesus. So in the crowd that day, you have those who are supposedly knowledgeable ones, but in reality are ignorant about Jesus and God the Father. And you have the authoritative ones who are actually powerless against Jesus. So those are some bold statements. You don't know the Father, and you cannot come to where I am going. He's saying these things to their faces, not behind some computer screen like might be done today. And what we learn is that this group, this force of strength and power and authority, are met by Jesus himself, in which he says to them, You're powerless. You cannot take me anywhere that has not been ordained for me to go, and you cannot take me one second before the prescribed time. Even more, you are powerless to go where I am going. Now, those of us who have read this gospel before, notice a little bit of foreshadowing here, don't we? Jesus, in speaking of his going somewhere where they cannot go, is speaking of his resurrection and ascension. In other words, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the temple guards are powerless to stop God's plan of redemption. So isn't this such an incredible passage to love? We see the resolve and calm under pressure presence of our King. So how do we live out the truth of this text? Well, just like the world was powerless to stop the plan of God in redemption, so too is the world powerless to stop the mission of God's redemption plan going forth as He prescribes, which is through His church. So we live this out by being devoted to His church as she is devoted to His mission. Today, when you pray, please pray for Todd Cox and his family, our missionaries in Georgia. And also remember the Giha Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Tanzania.